All right, welcome back to Thrive America, uh, the show where we we bring on guests to to talk about how they're thriving at this uh, at this time, and consultants and so forth to educate us on how we can improve our businesses. And uh, we're kind of right in the middle, halftime, if you will, uh, with our time with Chris Hoiser. And uh, Chris is a is a small business owner. Uh, he owns and operates PC Doc USA, where he goes to uh, the homes of his clients to repair their computers at half the price of what a uh, larger uh, entity might might charge. And has found a real niche in in the marketplace for for this, and and keeps getting referrals um, from from his clients. So we we've already covered some ground here. Uh, we we talked about how why is it now is the best time to start a small business, how it doesn't take a lot of home a lot of money to start your business, and then figuring out making sure that what you decide to do is a passion that you just don't do something just just for the money, but find something you're very passionate about, and people will gravitate towards that passion. They want to be around people who are passionate and do business with these kinds of people, and then make sure it's. Uh, it's it's what someone uh, make sure someone wants what you do. So do a little research and, and ask ask uh, some of your colleagues, ask some friends, pick up the phone book like Chris did and make some uh, cold calls and just see if um, if this is a viable idea or not. Uh, so now, Chris, we're going to talk a little bit about your next two points. And the first one here is an, an informative website. Um, aren't websites expensive and kind of hard stuff? Not at all. Um, it takes just, I mean, if you were going to write a brochure or something, I mean, you got to get printed up, you're going to spend a lot of money. Uh, people are so digitally oriented now, everybody ha almost everybody has a computer. Um, that's your brochure. And you can go anywhere on the web, do a search in Google for free website, you know, free design stuff. I mean, it's all there. All you have to do is just put it together. It might take you some time, you know, versus, a, you know, a professional web designer, but it can be done, it can look good. Um, you know, you can get it hosted for free. Mm -hmm. You can even get a domain name for free, you mm -hmm. know, from Google or uh, there's numerous people out mm -hmm. there that will do that. Mm -hmm. I suggest that you spend the $8 to buy your own, mm -hmm. you know, that way you'll own it for, for the rest of your life, whether mm -hmm. it's your name or, or your company name or, or whatever you decide it should be. Mm -hmm. uh, you should own that. It's inexpensive. So, um, and then just put your brochure on there. But mm -hmm. make sure that uh, it's not static, mm -hmm. that as you add more items to your repertoire of what you're going to offer, mm -hmm. whether it be a service or goods, that you keep changing it, you know, so that people, when they go there, you know, will see what you do, and that's how they make an informed decision whether or not they're going to do business with you. Let's talk a little bit about the, uh, what are some, what are, where are some places people can go to, to get a domain name uh, at, at $8, and, and just, just a little bit um, Educate me a little bit on what a domain name is, just to be on the safe side and make sure everyone knows what okay. we're talking about a little bit. Okay. Um, I use GoDaddy. I use Blue Razor, which is a, uh, a membership site that uh, GoDaddy has. It, it gives you a reduced rate um, for domains if you're going to buy a lot of domains. Mm -hmm. You know, you can get, get them cheaper. But uh, I think GoDaddy is selling uh, domains right now. They're on sale for seven ninety five okay. for a dot .com. Like when you type into your address bar, google.com, that is the name that uh, Google owns, and that takes you to their space in, you know, Internet land. So when you own, like I own ChrisHoiser.com, um, you know, when you type that in, it'll take you to a website that I own. It's, it, I mean, I bought the name, but it's mm -hmm. just, it's not up. But mm -hmm. like PCDocUSA.com is, you know, a, a domain that's up, and that's my company name. Mm -hmm. So. Okay. That's my brochure on the web. Okay, so so in other words, if if I if I find I figure out my business and, and I and I kind of check make make my checklist here, and it's time for me to get a website, and, and your advice is to go to GoDaddy, and, and pick a pick a name. Um, mm -hmm. Should it be a long name, or should it describe what you do in the name, or should it like? Well, uh, the shorter the better, but uh, you know it, it should be a .dot com if you okay. can get that. Okay. Only and you should buy the .dot net also, so that nobody can you know. Kind of take that from you. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing that uh, is important is when you're giving out your business card and it has your email address on it, it makes a lot more sense, it's a lot more credible if it's 
you know, Chris at your own domain instead okay. of Chris at Yahoo or mm -hmm. Chris at Hotmail or something like that. Right. Which means then, you know, maybe your business is just a hobby and it's a flyer. Mm -hmm. Whereas if you have your own domain name, people yeah. think you're serious. Well, I also want to point out that I've, I have my hosting with GoDaddy. Mm -hmm. And I have called them on numerous occasions and just got the best customer service from them. I mean, if there's a question that I've got about how to set up my email or if I'm confused about something, even even some marketing tips I've called. Yeah. And they've been really, really helpful. Bill Parsons has been around for a long time. He wrote one of the first checkbook programs, which mm -hmm. he actually sold to uh, Intuit, mm -hmm. which became uh, Quicken. Mm -hmm. um, so, and he started that company, you know, when, when the Internet was just fledgling and coming out and you know when domain names were seventy dollars a piece mm. so yeah he does he does a very good job very good job so so get an informative website and and um, I have another guest uh, Russell who's talking about he talks about a blog and kind of using a blog as a website which WordPress is a great resource to go to to also start up kind of a blogging website and we can talk about that later yeah. um, your next point here is getting getting skilled up mm -hmm. uh, what do you mean by uh, this principle here getting getting skilled up well like in my case even though I've been in the computer business for over 20 years there's still some things that you know that I don't know um, so if you don't know something you know either find somebody that does know let them teach you or go take a class you know there's classes you know on anything if you're going to train people on how to use Quicken or QuickBooks mm -hmm. you know and and that's a viable business there's a lot of mm -hmm. people that do that Mm -hmm. You know, you better know Quicken or QuickBooks inside and out, and mm -hmm. they give classes by certified instructors mm -hmm. that will skill you up so that you can go out and teach that. Mm -hmm. um, I have partners that are in the computer business, uh, you know, that I'll call if I run into a problem, hmm. and or they will call me because, you know, we work on different things, and, you know, there's a thousand things that can go wrong with something. So, right. you know, it's always good to have someone that may be a competitor but in a different space than you, mm -hmm. that you can call and say, hey, listen, John, you know, I've got this, this, and this. What do you think? Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. not only is it good for the customer, because mm -hmm. if you're charging by the hour, you're not going to learn on the job, mm -hmm. you know, or maybe it's beyond your skill set and you shouldn't be there to start with. So, mm -hmm. And you might build an alliance with a, with a certain competitor. Yes. And, and I, I think um, another thing that I can... Um, talk to about this is a lot of there's a lot of great industry newsletters mm -hmm. that we can we can subscribe to and they're you mentioned free. That, free. that are free that yeah. can get you kind of like you say skilled up and of course books that you can read um, but you mentioned getting certified uh, is it expensive to get certified in certain things or it, w what was that like well it, it is now um, you know the, the and it's almost like a they churn, churn it out. So, I mean, mm -hmm. the MCSE uh, certification for, for servers is, uh, is going to cost you probably about seven or $8,000, mm -hmm. you know, and that's in my industry. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it, and there's all kinds of certifications. Mm -hmm. um, but if you've worked in your particular niche mm -hmm. for quite a while, mm -hmm. you, know, you already have the certification because you have the experience mm -hmm. of the number of years. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're just getting out of school, you need a certification. Well, I think too something that I can, I'd like to say here is that there's there's probably people that are better than you at what you do, or or a certain element of what you do, and and I I at first I had a big ego and I didn't want to go to these people and say hey you know how do I do this but now I try to, I try to put my ego aside and sometimes I may, I just ask try to be inquisitive and try to ask a lot of questions. Would yes. you Would you do you think that's a <laughs> concept that you would agree with or oh absolutely okay. I mean there's no way that you can know everything mm -hmm. so I mean if you're afraid to ask for help mm -hmm. then maybe you should just have a job <laughs> yeah you know and, and and like you mentioned it's it's, it's going to be helpful at the end to to your customer the exactly. more skills you have and a support system of, of people that that you can turn to I know your support system is is set up mm -hmm. and if there's a situation that you've run in, run into you can call someone and, and they can help you can help you out. So, um, excellent, excellent points, um, uh, Chris. We'll be right back with Chris in just a little bit.